going guys this is Gil from Black Hole Comics and today we got a haul video um, got two packages here from some stuff I've been picking up lately right here in front of me the little black package we got here is from Boog ACBA um, might want to check him out I'll put links for his Instagram um, but he's part of the articulated comic book art I already cut these things open I think on oh, no, this side on this side to make it a little bit faster uh, he had a claim sale on his Instagram page. So, I did buy them uh, mint on card, but I told them to just ship them out to me loose to make it a little bit cheaper for me. So this is um, the belly, <laughs> the belly of uh, who's that guy? Uh, Mo Mojo. Yeah, from the build a figure. So we do have Falcon here. This is a Toy Biz Falcon. And then uh, Red Wing plugs into his back. Let's see if we can get him to hold on. Let's see, like that. Get him off to the side. Not too bad. I really like this figure. We gotta definitely get an updated uh, figure of this guy. New, use the new body molds that we have. Maybe a Bucky Cap mold. I really like this figure. Classic outfit. So the next figure I did get from the claim sale on his page is Jango Fett. I just recently started getting into Black Series, so this is definitely somebody that I wanted to pick up. Really happy I got him. Let me see. He got his gun somewhere. Got him in a little baggie. So yeah, I'm really happy about this that I got Jango Fett to add to the... Uh, Black Series, need to get uh, Boba Fett. Really going to be looking for Boba Fett next. So, pretty happy I got them. I got them both, both these figures cheaper than what I would if uh, they're for retail. So, I'm really happy about that. I'm going to go ahead and get into this box right here. So, I already opened up this box. Uh, this box comes from Reno Masad. I don't know if you guys follow him. If not, you guys should. I'll put links for his Instagram down below. Yeah, Reno Masad, he's an awesome artist. Check him out. So he also had a claim sale. Let's see if I can get him put up. There we go. He's not even in the whole entire shot. There we go. I had to readjust the camera. Uh, so yeah, this is Overkill from Spawn, uh, and then this is actually a Spawn X figure. I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with Spawn X, uh, but I used to read it uh, online. It's a comic, online comic that they did a while back, and it's, I don't know, to me it seems like it's like an anime type feel. Stylized proportions, really like it. Comes with an interchangeable hand, I think it's this one. Damn, it's just tight. There we go. Goes on easy. So it does come with the chainsaw hand. And also with the battle axe. So I do like how they came out. These figures are used, so I actually do gotta like this cord is coming undone right here. Gotta just throw a little super glue on that and I'll we'll fix that. Let's see the next figure, what do we got? Omega Spawn. I don't know if you guys watched or read Spawn X. If you guys didn't, um, Spawn had a squadron of um, kind of like Iron Man of Spawn robots to help him out patrol. And this is the leader. He's in a white outfit, as you can see. The other robots were in like a gray, a gray outfit uh, or gray armor. So yeah, this guy was in charge of all of them. Really like how he came out, and he also comes with interchangeable uh, parts, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'm not sure which one. Anyways, it comes with the extra arm and the extra uh, cannon. It comes with only one cord, so I got to try to track down a cord. For him fix that because the display base spawn display base pretty sure that's for overkill 
this thing. I don't know. For some of the figures. I don't know which one's which. It kind of doesn't really matter. And then we got Tiffany here. Got Tiffany. Looking really nice. Nice proportions right there. I like how the boobage came out right there. <laughs> of course, I gotta be dirty. I got a nice booty. Looking real nice. So yeah, there's just a couple things I gotta fix with her. Um, got her pigtails, just gotta put those back in, right in the back, port those back in. I'll put uh, these figures back together when I throw them on my display case. And then the last figure, but certainly not least, Spawn. I used to have all these figures in my collection um, a while back, but I sold off my collection. So when I seen uh, these figures go up on the claim sale, I was super excited to try to get these figures back. And I was super excited when I won all of them in the claim sale. So he's, of course, missing, missing his arm. Just got to put that back in there. Missing the leg. We got all the pieces right here. And I got this little display stand, so other than that, it's all good. It's a really nice figure. I like how it came out. Good details. Just like all the McFarland stuff, you know, it's not really articulate. It's just more of a statue, like made to just go on the display base and just stand there. Yeah, it's made more just stand on the base and just be there. Of course not with one foot. <laughs> All right guys, go ahead, click this little annotation right here to check out my last blind bag opening slash unboxing. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks.